guys, welcome back to Vito's Garage. Thank you so much for watching and tuning in. Today is going to be an important video because I want to replace the ignition tumbler on this car. I purchased a brand new ignition tumbler. It's not original to the car. I could have ordered one from the dealership, but uh, I didn't uh, do that. Uh, I just ordered one online. Uh, I think it's a Phoebe brand. It came with two brand new keys as well. And mainly I want to replace it just to, as a preventative maintenance and I want to change it so I have two keys for the ignition because I currently have two keys for the uh, locks and trunk and all that stuff but I only have one key for the ignition because at some point this car in this car's history they replaced the tumbler or maybe the whole ignition lock assembly I don't know yet but yeah I really want to do that because I want to have two keys one of each or two keys of each basically uh, so yeah it's actually quite a bit of a process on this car but stay tuned and you know we'll get through this okay so the kick panel is removed Moved. can do a little bit of cleaning here and uh, I noticed actually right here there's a little dangling someone's been here before so I'm gonna just secure everything here make sure it's not dangling and then the steering lock assembly which is this one as you can see someone's been there before they were drilling some stuff there okay I don't know, maybe they will replace it with a brand new one, the steering lock assembly. I'm about to check that. But yeah, everything else, I mean, this is some addition right here. I don't know what that's about. Yeah, but other than that, it's not too bad here. So, looking at this steering lock assembly, I think it's it was replaced. It looks fresh. But the steering is still locks and unlocks on everything, so... It, you know, I thought that maybe they drilled it because the old one broke or something. And But yeah, I think it's brand new. And then as you can see, they did some wiring stuff here, which is so strange. Yeah. So I think this purple wire, maybe it's a power wire to the starter. I don't know exactly. But there's some other, like this red wire, they were like doing something to it, I don't know. Maybe someone at some point had like a remote start on it, but I doubt it. But I'm gonna fix everything right here while I'm here. Yeah, mainly I just wanna replace this tumbler on this car. But I'm definitely gonna go ahead and fix all this stuff. All right, so I fixed up the wiring here, I wrapped it up nicely so it doesn't get rubbed through and then reinstalled this paneling for the connectors so now it's not flopping around so that's awesome and i also disconnected the ignition switch connector right here so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna i don't like how it's got this thinner wire right here all connected so i'm gonna just kind of make it a little better with a thicker wire and just one piece so i'm gonna end up removing the whole steering lock assembly because there's just no way I can get to that tumbler right there. It's like pretty hard. So there's the cable right there that you have to disconnect. You just unscrew that. You have to have the key on. Don't forget to disconnect the battery. As far as this ignition switch, it just kind of slides that way and then you can take it out. So it's pretty easy. Yeah, and now for this one, I just looks like they did some, I think it's uh, after some modifications they did it's this 10 millimeter nut that you take out and then you have to have the key in the out position and eventually it's going to come out okay so this bolt it kind of goes right over here okay so this bolt goes from the top it goes through this hole and then the nut goes through it okay it's the main thing the main part for your lock so you have to push it up all the way and now this transmission Oh, cable right here is disconnected so now this this guy can just come out you just have to wiggle it out like that see yeah and then the key you can turn the key off like that and you can fish out this guy so to take this trim off i loosened it up already but you can slide a pick in there and then there you can slide a pick and just kind of move it all the way around and it will come out like this one is as you can see and once you do that carefully you can 
take this out. That will give you a lot more access now to work with whatever else. Taking it out. Okay. Almost out, guys. Just gotta be patient. Come on. like that and then that's it the whole assembly comes out there we go so this key right here is original to the car okay i was able to cut an additional key for that this key right here is not original this was swapped over but i only have one of uh these keys and i tried getting uh tried getting another uh copy from a local locksmith but um uh, there were some issues long story short so and i had this tumbler laying around brand new one with two brand new keys that i'm just gonna go ahead and install on this car so this is what the lock assembly looks like it was taken out and basically someone previously was cutting it right here i don't know what exactly what they tried accomplishing but yeah um I don't know, the lock assembly is still good, it's still working properly. But since you're doing this job, I mean, you can probably go ahead and even, you know, replace this whole thing. So the plastic says 94, which tells me it's original to the car, most likely. But uh, I would like to look at this. Maybe this whole assembly was replaced. It says 93. I mean, that's fine because the, the car was made at uh, the beginning of 94. So, yeah, this is where the transmission cable connects to. But long story short, if you're trying to replace this tumbler, it's not that easy. You have to actually take the whole thing out, most likely. Uh, because, and now, in order for me to take this out, I obviously need to have the key and the, uh, you know, turn the key. To But before doing that, you need to actually, so some people cut a slit right here because there's like a ring right there. But I don't really want to do that. I've seen some people just are lucky just to kind of like prying this thing. So yeah, I mean, when you're doing this job, you should probably order a new one of these barrels, but I'm gonna try my hardest to be careful with it. Yeah, and this is, I don't know, they did something right here, probably because they damaged it or whatever. So they put these screws, but it's okay. Everything's still good with it, it's just working as it should. So here's the new part right here, Phoebe, ignition lock cylinder. I'm gonna take it out before I install it on the car. I wanna soak it in automatic trans oil. Uh, yeah that way it gets lubricated and all that okay so for this barrel to take it out you're gonna have to like put a screwdriver in here and on the other side just kind of together pry it out i'm gonna have to repaint it in this uh, afterwards but that's okay that's how you do it though i mean there's another way you can cut a slit in it too like right here because there's like that locking ring that sits inside so makes it of a pain to do anything okay so it's almost out i just have to keep on going all the way around uh, with the screwdriver yeah be patient i mean there's no way avoiding damage to this unfortunately so but i'm just trying not to cut a slit in it basically so right here make sure you wear safety glasses or something because you don't want anything to fly Okay guys, success. Here it is, there's the barrel. And it's basically this ring that usually sits here. But yeah, someone I think, well, it's supposed to be here. So I don't know if it was taken already or what, but yeah, there's that ring usually that sits here. Yeah, but. You have to take the barrel out that way. Let's see. No, actually this barrel has like a lip to it right there too. But there's supposed to be a ring, like I said. I don't know where it went. Maybe it fell out. Uh, I don't know. Anyways, now we can take this out. I have to turn the key to down position and take this uh, tumbler out to change it. Well, I guess I'm a little stupid. This is the ring right here this guy 
that's your ring right here. That's what's holding that barrel in place. But the, I think on the newer models, it has like a wavy, uh, wavy um, washer kind of like a holder that goes here. But this one's different. This is pre facelift, so they could be different. Anyways, I'm probably gonna just leave it there. I'm not gonna mess with that. Yeah, we're gonna change this out. This one's also Phoebe, it looks like. It's a replaced it, but like I said, we have, we're gonna have two keys now. So I have automatic trans oil, new barrel. I'm gonna soak that in now. To take the tumbler out, as you can see, the new one, I turned it a little bit to the right, to the on position, and this slot lines up with this. So you have to put like a, something in there and press down on the spring so it can come out. So I always like to use these little ones right here. So I'm literally just gonna take this out right here like that. And then there's, there's a hole right there. They have to press on it and it will come out. Might need something thinner than that, but it should just pop out. There it is. There's your old tumbler. Crazy. <laughs> that took a while. <laughs> yeah. So let's go ahead and install the new one after I soak it. Now it's a perfect opportunity to soak this stuff or actually put grease in there everywhere. That's what I'm going to do. I don't want to put ATF in there. Usually I do, but not on this one, not on the 140. Um, because it has the ignition switch right here. I don't want to saturate that. New tumbler is currently soaking in ATF. We'll put a lot inside. So when installing this back, you turn the key a little bit to the on and then you don't have to press anything there. You just kind of, it's, it was a really tight fit for me, but it went through in all the way on on sits in. It didn't really like make a click or anything, but just got to make sure that it, it goes all the way in and uh, you know, let's see. working as it should you i won't be able i won't be able to take out the key right now i have to press on this where the transmission goes that way i can take it out let's see if i can show you there we go now i can take the key out like that so a bit of a system but pretty cool so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna install it in the car like this i'm gonna repaint the barrel but i can pay, uh, install the barrel later on so i'm not worried about that so I'm just gonna install it as is right now without the barrel. So this cut, as you can see, that was previously from someone trying to cut the barrel. And that's what they did. And they just cut it through. I didn't do it. This time I was just prying it out and I was able to save this barrel. Also putting a little bit of lube inside of that where that bolt goes. Okay, I'm putting it back right now. Enough. It's gonna be a pain, but I'm gonna do it like this. Okay, so as you can see, I kind of got it started in there. I'm gonna push it in, but I'm gonna have to turn the key on because I have the steering wheel lock on. But it's in there now. Okay, and I'm gonna have to install this transmission bolt uh, cable. Now, this dead bolt that goes, it goes from the top and then it's gonna end up right here and then I'm gonna put that 10 millimeter nut. But first you have to slide it all the way in. So, yeah, kinda like that, you see that? All right, but then you're gonna have to turn the key to the on position because uh, there's that slot that opens up for, for, this, uh, for this bolt, okay. Okay, so I have the key turned on in the on position. So that way I, it opens up a slot for this bolt to go through. And this is how much thread is sticking out. That's how it's supposed to be. Okay, the bolt has to go all the way through. On top, it should be like smooth over there. there shouldn't be any anything protruding. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and install this nut right now. And uh, 
then start connecting that cable and yeah it's it's not too bad of a job actually all right guys so here's the barrel i actually just ended up uh touching it up with black paint it's actually not in a bad condition we're gonna reinstall it as is all right everything is back together here the nut is on connector still i'm still gonna fix this uh, purple wire don't like it the way they fixed the uh, repaired it yeah let's go ahead start this car up battery's connected i got two keys let's go ahead and try it out start it up on the steering wheel is unlocked awesome Now we're going to be putting this cover back on. Okay, guys, if you remember, this wire was all like crazily spliced like this. So I just put only one splice in there. This is actually a starter cranking wire. I don't know who was messing with this before. Maybe somebody was installing or trying to install the remote start. I'm not sure. But long story short, right now, everything is good to go. I just have to put some liquid electrical tape and then I'm going to put... Uh, regular uh, fabric electrical tape around it to make it look uh, nice.